Yeah, they've never paid this much to settle a similar type of suit. In fact, the next largest payout was $2.6 million made in 2015. That's less than a fifth of the payout that will be made in McLean's case. And we wanted to know how Aurora is going to pay for all of this and what kind of message this will send as the city continues its efforts to reform. I want everybody to pay for this because it's the great cover up of Colorado right now. That was Elijah McLean's mother, Shanine, in 2019, asking for justice while wading through pain. No, I am an introvert. For more than two years, she's been waiting for this moment. The city of Aurora will pay out $15 million to settle the federal lawsuit she filed in 2020. That's more than all other settlements combined paid out by Aurora since 2010. Aurora's largest wrongful death payout since then was $2.6 million. It went to the state of Neshalis Vincent after an officer shot and killed the unarmed man. In 2018, the city paid out $1.5 million for another deadly police shooting to the estate of Richard Black. But this settlement sends a message, according to DU law professor Ian Farrell. There are financial consequences for not having reform, and you know maybe that will motivate people who haven't previously been motivated by saving lives. Farrell says the massive payout in the McLean case indicates the city might have been concerned that going to trial could cost them more. Aurora itself uh, appears to be taking this seriously. Aurora is going to have to dig deep into its pockets after this tragic incident. After paying a sort of deductible from its risk management fund, city officials say liability insurance coverage kicks in. But that only covers up to $10 million for police-related claims from 2019. The rest of the money will come out of the general fund. The willingness to go over that limit, I think, says something. Now, to give you an idea, Denver's largest law enforcement payout so far was $6 million in 2014 for a jail death. And for context, the settlement of the George Floyd death was $27 million. In the case of Breonna Taylor, who was shot and killed during a no-knock warrant in Kentucky, that settlement was $12 million. This Elijah McLean settlement is still not finalized, though. There is another meeting about it scheduled for tomorrow. And there has been a lot of back and forth between the attorneys representing each of McLean's parents on how the payout might be distributed. McLean's mother also issued a statement today thanking the community for its support and its love. I'm Lori Jangley, Fox 31. All right.